become Florence's Jeep. She's an action girl, so she drives. I had my driving license in Canada, Montreal. I had to choose between uh, driving automatic or manual. Of course, I was 16. I said, automatic's much easier. Stevie, member of the crew, spent like half a day driving around the city. And now I'm doing great. I'm really proud of me because it wasn't easy. When we have scenes in the Jeep, I have like to say my lines, which is difficult for me because it's in English. Talk to Humphrey. Be careful the road because we drive sometimes in roads like this in mountains. And the cameras are outside the car, so I can't see anything. That's, that's our second Jeep and Daryl and his team um, completely painted it up for us for season four because the old Jeep used to have uh, recurrent problems with the brakes. Out here where the roads are a little bumpier than normal, um, to drive that Jeep is no easy task. But yeah, she makes it look pretty easy. It feels like we're a proper family out here and, um, and the bus is part of that family. A huge mural on the side of this makeup bus. We've been on that bus for well, I've been on it for three years now. I think of it a little bit like the birds at the Tower of London. I think if, 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 if it left, we would be, um, we'd be in trouble. There aren't many shows that have a generator um, like ours. It makes me smile whenever I see it. Hi. This is my partner in crime in Death in Paradise. It's called the Royal Enfield, once a famous British brand and now no longer made with a sidecar. And you might also see a detective in there with rather moist trousers. The engine is very close to his head. Now it's already about 90 degrees outside. With the engine heat, it probably goes up to 120 in his left ear. God help him if he's got any lines to say there.